Hello my friends, today I'll show you how to make a melodic future house drop like Mike Williams in FL Studio 20. Guys, I recently released my first future house sample pack and it has 275 royalty free samples, 130 presets for serum and silinth 1, and 5 professional future house FLPs. The link is in the description. Alright guys and gals, let's start off by making some chords. Let's chop them up to make them groovy. That's tight, now let's make the melody. Okay guys, now that we're done with the composing, let's start on the drop. We'll start off with the lead. When creating a Mike Williams style drop, it's important to create a lead that's really huge with a lot of reverb. Let's start with this layer. Now we will add all these layers to make the lead big and fat. Now let's add some mixing effects to make it a lot more powerful. I started off with some reverb, then some EQ, some compression with OTT, distortion with Camel Crusher, a second EQ, some more distortion with Fruity Fast Dist, EQ, Soundgedizer, and a final EQ. This is a lead with the mixing effects. I controlled the reverb using this reverb automation. Now my friends let's make a baseline. Make sure to add some powerful layers. Now we're gonna spice up the bass with some mixing effects. I started off with some EQ, then some compression with OTT, a second EQ, some distortion with Fruity Blood Overdrive, EQ, some more distortion with Fruity Fast Dist, EQ, Soundgedizer, and a final EQ. Now guys, this is with the mixing effects. Guys, I'm gonna add this pitch automation for the bass. As you can hear, it makes the bass a lot more interesting. Now guys let's make the chords of the drop. We'll start with a piano layer. Now let's add some synth layers to fill out the chords. Let's add some nice mixing effects to make the chords crispy and powerful. First we'll add some reverb, then an EQ, compression with OTT, EQ, distortion with Camel Crusher, a couple more EQs, more distortion with Fruity Fast Dist, and lastly a final EQ. This is with the mixing effects. Guys, we're gonna add this volume automation for the chords. It makes the chords a lot more groovy. Now, to spice up the drop a bit, we're gonna add some harmony chords. It's just this init saw wave from Silenth 1, playing these notes, while being controlled by this cutoff filter automation. This is what they sound like with the bass and chords. As you can hear, they add a lot of emotion to the drop. Now we need to create a nice drum pattern that complements the other layers of the drop.
Guys, lastly we're gonna add a few pluck layers playing the melody to make the lead bigger. Now guys, we're finally done. But before we check out the final result I would really appreciate it if you checked out my new sample pack. The link is in the description. Alright guys, here we go. Alright guys, if you liked the video please be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.